Hi everyone, this is Martina from Customly and I'm here to tell you about a very important update that we're making to one of our most beloved features, layouts. So I'm sure you are all very familiar with layouts and how they work. When creating a design, you can make a layout and then work from it to create variations of that design, like three dogs and two dogs options. One of the biggest limitations our layouts used to have is that each layout had different elements with different IDs. So dog one is ID three for three dogs and it's ID nine for two dogs. So when a customer changed the layout, they needed to choose that option again. So if I choose two dogs and make this, make two dogs, when I go and change to three dogs, I have to make the choices again. Well, this is what's changing. Now we added the option to clone a layout, which is this one right here. When cloning a layout, all the elements the new layout will have will maintain their ID, meaning they're essentially the same elements but in a new layout. So for three dogs here, we have dog one with ID three, and for two dogs, dog one is also ID three. So what is the biggest advantage? It makes options a lot simpler. Dog one is the same option across all layouts. So now when you choose two dogs and select your dog options, and wish to change to three dogs, the option one and two will be remembered because dog one just needs one option no matter on how many layouts it's present. And if we take a look at the option sets between the old way and the new way, you will see the difference clearly. So um, this is the old way of layout. So you see you have a ton of options 46 options actually, because we have dog one for the two dog options. And then again, later on, we have dog one again for the three dog option. Now, if we take a look at the new way layouts work, we have a lot less options, just 28, because dog one is used both for two dogs and three dogs. It's essentially the same element with the same options. So remember, this works when you clone a layout using this button right here. So let's clone it. And I have another layout right here with elements with the same ID. If you have copy and paste using Control or Command C and V, it will keep working as it was before with each layout creating new elements with new IDs. Um, so remember, cloning is the way to go. We super recommend you start using this as it will make your designs and options a lot lighter and simpler for your customers to interact with. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our team. Bye-bye.